What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about something a little different. We're going to be talking about, um, is Phantom Castle getting a overhaul? And what I mean by that, are they going to be changing Phantom Castle? Are they going to be reworking Phantom Castle? Are they going to be making it a little bit different? Or what's going to be going on? And, um, the reason why I thought about this is because with the recent update, we got a new unit, and that unit was Utakata, right? Now, along with Utakata, they brought back some very, very, very ancient and very old skills. Or abilities, anyways. Um, if you look right here, start Phantom Castle with one extra chakra, one extra chakra, one extra chakra. Right? Now, we haven't seen these abilities until since um, back with the 5 star Asuma and I think like the 5 star Kuranai. So, pretty much the last time we saw these abilities were with 5 stars. Where five stars were actually relevant in the game, right? So it's like the fact that they put them on a six star unit is like, well, Phantom Castle isn't hard enough that we even need this, right? Like, literally, the amount of units we can use to get ultra combos between six path Naruto, six path Madara, Kaguya, uh, Rock Lee, uh, Blazing Festa, I mean, Blazing Bash Itachi, Blazing Bash Sasuke, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. The amount of units we can use to get a ultra combo multiple times is like insane. Not to mention half the units I just mentioned re get resets on their chakra, right? So it's like, I feel like the only reason they would release a summonable Phantom Castle unit is that Phantom Castle is going to be getting some type of rework, some type of overhaul, some type of something, right? Now, the reason why I say this is because, uh, do you guys remember the first PvP unit? And when I mean first PvP unit, I mean first PvP unit, right? Well, if you don't, the first PvP unit was Hashirama. And let me get into why. When Hashirama dropped, uh, PvP came out, like, right after. And, uh, let me, let me bring up the timeline just so I can give you guys an idea. But yeah, when, when Hashirama dropped, PvP came like right after he did, I believe. Unless I'm drunk. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. First year, Ninja Wolf. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, if you look on the timeline, Hashirama dropped. And then we got the sneak peek for, well, sneak preview three days later. Which you were able to get this Kakashi from it. So many po people thought Hashirama was bad because of his abilities, right? Because instead of getting reduced damage by 25% for each element, why didn't he just get reduced damage 5% 5 times, which would equal 25, right? That's what a lot of people thought. But now that we got PvP, we were like, oh, that makes more sense to do it this way. And um, if you guys don't know, whenever you have damage reduction abilities, it's not a full, like say you have damage two damage reduction abilities both of them are 10 percent it's not 20 percent damage reduction it's um 10 percent damage reduction and then you subtract 10 percent from that 10 percent so pretty much if you had a hundred percent damage right 10 percent damage reduction would make it 90 percent and then that second damage reduction ability would make the uh 90 percent 90 percent of i mean 10 percent of 90 is nine so you would subtract nine from 90 and you get 81 so it's not like you would take 20 percent from 100 but you would take 10 percent of 100 and then take 10 percent of 90 so that's why um having those type of abilities weren't really good for pvp whereas this gives you a full 25 percent meaning that the damage is 70 75 percent total instead of doing the 10 percent of and the 10 percent of you get the full 25 percent with these abilities so um with that it made hashirama a lot better and a lot different than what we originally thought he was going to be because we thought he was going to be you know just it was like that's kind of stupid that his abilities are like that but then uh pvp dropped and then he was just insane like if you had a magic dupe hashirama during the sneak preview of pvp you were smacking people yo like you were really smacking people so um I think that's a really cool thing to note. That's a really cool thing to have uh, as far as that. So back to, oh my bad. 
Uh, back to Phantom Castle. Back to Phantom Castle. Back to talking about what I was talking about. In the case of Utakata, we we think he's really bad. But what if Phantom Castle changes sometime during anniversary to make his abilities actually stupid insane? Now I don't know if that'll be the case, but that's definitely a possibility. And if it does happen, that would be really really cool and really really insane. Um, I don't know. I just, I just, there's just no way. I, I, I just can't believe that they would make Utakata this bad, right? Because like Shinden Sasuke was bad, right, with his abilities. But the thing about Shinden Sasuke is. Shinden Sasuke was insanely good without his abilities, not to mention his abilities were made for the impact, right? And he's on the body team, so it's not that bad. But it's like when you get a braver unit made for like like don't get me wrong, Chino's impact was pretty good, pretty hard. But Phantom Castle? Phantom Castle is not hard at all. So it's like you I refuse to believe that these abilities are just whatever abilities. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if y'all think I'm right, if y'all think I'm wrong. Let me know if Uta kind of has a bigger purpose or if he just got shafted. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.